Hey, this is Osprey from MyTrekCoach.com, and we're going to take a look at ticker symbols in play on Friday. Okay, you can um, come and join us uh, at our chat um, at MyTrekCoach.com, and you can also watch more videos on our YouTube channel, um, So, uh, which is also MyTrekCoach.com. So let's look at HTGM. This was the big winner last week. Um, you know, it, it had a low last week of, of uh, uh, 195, and it hit a high of 1325. So this was a, a, a giant uh, percentage gain last week the the upper wick on Friday's candle you can see the upper wick here lowered fasto so fasto did close at 68 but you do have uh, RSI up here at 88 so at overbought levels um, so the there was a, a big three-day move um, the 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 break above the the gap up open above the uh, 300 day simple moving average on Thursday so more upside potential and then, and then there was another gap up after earnings so you have these two big uh, unfilled gaps here so uh, um, yeah, so this is a, a big breakout play. No, notice that the candle on Friday did form well above the upper Bollinger Band, so that 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 is a frothy close. If the candles do work back into the bands, EMA four at five fifty six will be the first support level on a pullback. Notice the giant volume behind the moves, uh, the parabolic SAR bullish flip, and then you've got uh, bullish crossovers on MACD on both time frames. Okay, so uh, HTGM is breaking out to fifty two week highs, and so we're, we're going to take a look here at the weekly chart to see uh, you know where the next resistance levels are so on this chart each candle represents one week of trading as opposed to one day um, notice uh, RSI is at overbought levels there's still room to run on on fasto it closed at 70 but it did hit a previous high um, it will need to break that level to head higher uh, the the upper wick once again on the candle lowered fasto the the big spike on plus di and ADX is signaling the is reflecting the the parabolic move okay so so currently uh, this is hitting September 2015 resistance levels and so the key level to break is this high close around 1150 back in uh, 2000 September 2015 that's going to be the next key level to break if it can break out above that level then you're talking about this uh, June 2015 close as the next key level to break at 1550 if it can close above that then you're talking about pushing up to the all-time high levels you know that's up here at 20 uh, it's currently uh, you know, th th there's this big jar that's being filled uh, back up to this prior resistance levels. So you notice the upper wick did uh, pierce that level uh, uh, prior prior resistance from back here in September 2015. So so you know this th this jar is filled here, and so it needs to break out above that to head to that next level, which is up here in the 1550 range. If it fails to break uh, horizontal resistance, then you're looking at a pullback. The close was well above the upper Bollinger Band, which is at 578, and so you've got first support all the way down here at the EMA4 at 513. So you're talking about a, a, a big drop if the candles work back into the bands. This was a frothy close well above the upper Bollinger Band. Many times the candles do work back into the bands. We'll just have to see if the news was strong enough this week to continue the rally. Um, if it keeps pushing higher, just look for a break above September resistance to put June 2015 resistance on deck. Uh, the, there was a giant volume spike last week. Look at the huge money behind the move. Uh, the, this actually heated up back in uh, February with the uh, um, with this big uh, move in February. Notice the giant volume spike. That was your antis uh, your your uh, your your, uh, your big spike, your tension spike that that was signaling that HTGM was in play. Okay, let's take a look at GBR. Here's another stock that that made a nice move last week. Uh, the, 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 this closed up uh, 58 percent. Um, the, the there was a long upper wick on the candle, which lowered uh, fasto down to 62 and then you also have RSI at 62 so both are in the bull zone and are not at overbought levels so that does signal that there is more room to run you know there was this bullish crossover on plus DI it crossed minus DI and ADX to the upside so uh, th that was signaling that the bulls are taking control uh, the, the 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 bullish move is this uh, move above the middle Bollinger Band this dotted purple line noticed it was resistance back here filled a hold and the downtrend continued and so now there's a break above that level and the 50-day simple moving average at 155. Bulls want to see these two levels here turn into support and a new uptrend be to, to begin. Okay, the two key levels to break are going to be the 100-day simple moving average at 178 and the 300-day simple moving average at 188. So if there's a close above 188 here, that's going to signal a potential breakout higher. And then you'll be talking about you know these, these prior uh, resistance levels from back in January. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is a very nice move. We're going to see if GBR can follow through. There's
there was a parabolic star bullish flip. Uh, there, there was a big uh, volume spike, and uh, you've got a bull cross on uh, uh, on uh, a, a, a MACD here on the 12, 26, and 9. So the chart is really heating up. It had this huge move. It just have to see if it can uh, follow through and cr start a new uptrend. So keep an eye on GBR. Here's a stock uh, PVCT. This used to trade on the big boards. It got uh, demoted down there and delisted to the over the counter. Uh, you can see up here it's an over the counter stock. Um, <clears throat> the the uh, big move for this stock last week. Uh, it closed up 50% uh, on Friday. You know, it did close uh, frothy on Fasto and RSI. They're both at overbought levels. You know, there was a nice bullish crossover here on ADX. Uh, what's going on here is there's this uh, nice uptrend that, that that started back here in December with the close above the middle Bollinger Band, and then it's just steadily been heading higher. Uh, currently, it's pushing up here at the sixth level, which is prior resistance from back here in October and November. And it's also the ascending resistance line. It's the top of the channel. So the close was at the top of the channel and at horizontal resistance and above the upper Bollinger Band, which is at 0.05. Notice back here in February when there was a similar close, a red candle followed and the candles worked back into the bands. Um, you, you know, mo most closes for the stock above the upper Bollinger Band are followed by red candles. So, uh, the, you know, notice all, all these red candles over here, sa same situation, uh, you know, a close above the upper Bollinger Band, red candle follows. That is likely to be the pattern to continue. Um, you could see consolidation back into the uh, into the Bollinger Bands. You want to see 0 0.05 hold. If that holds, uh, bulls want to see a bounce off of the EMA5 and then a push through uh, the 0 0.06 resistance. If it can get above 0 0.06, then you're talking about a run up to the 200-day simple moving average at 12. That's the eventual target. Just not sure with these overbought levels on RSI and Fast O and the close above uh, the upper Bollinger Band, if it can do it uh, right away without consolidating first. There was big volume behind the move. And, and, and if you look up here, this is in the right sector. Okay, this is in the, the healthcare sector, healthcare pharmaceuticals, healthcare biotech. Th this has been the sector that has been working. As you know, the, the, the markets have been correcting. See, here's another healthcare, healthcare uh, um, <coughs> uh, bi biotechnology sector as well. Uh, this is this is the sector that has been working the best. Uh, most of our uh, penny stock winners have been out of this sector. You know, there's been finance plays as well. And, um, you, you know, so it, it's been uh, tough with the markets correcting, but uh, there are a couple sectors that are working and the healthcare sector is one of them, even though it did have its uh, biggest weekly decline in many weeks. So uh, it is cooling down, even though there are still plays that are hot. Another one that is hot is CGI. IX. This is, uh, you know, broken out here last week on the on the weekly chart or on the daily chart. And so I want to show you this weekly chart here. Each candle represents one week of trading. Notice the uh, RSI above 70. So RSI is at overbought levels. You have uh, Fasto almost maxed. It's at 98. So there's not, not a lot of juice to run here. And, uh, um, you know, you've got a you know, bullish move on, on plus DI. What's going on is a, a very strong uptrend. This jar has filled. So, so notice there was this uh, drop back here in the, uh, uh, um, uh, November. You know there was this uh, resistance level that was created, and and then it pulled all the way back down to the lows back here in October, and, and then now it's been working its way back up. Well, the jar has filled back to this November resistance level. Okay, so there was a close above it on Friday. The close above the the closing price here. Um, it looks like it was right at the bottom of this candle here. Yeah, so it's. It's at the bottom of this candle, so so it's still in this uh, resistance zone. And um, what what needs to happen is there needs to be a break above. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, it needs to be a break above this level to uh, signal more upside potential. And um, what what we have now on deck. Geez, is the uh, 100 day simple moving average here at 434. That's going to be the next key level to break. Okay, that's on deck to, to be tested uh, early next week. Um, it, it, if the 100 day simple moving average fails to break, that could signal the top of this run. If there is a close above the 100 day simple moving average, then the run could continue and you could be looking at a move all the way up here to the 200 day simple moving average at 779. So uh, with, with RSI and Fasto at overbought levels, there's 
there's a good chance that that the hitting the 100 day simple moving average will signal a top also you know this is hitting this key resistance zone from back here in uh, 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 November and uh, you know of, of 2015 so uh, you know if this uh, fails to break you could see consolidation and the candles working back into the bands and if that happens we're looking at 305 EMA 4 at 305 is the key support level to hold notice that the candles have been riding EMA 4 support higher when they're heading higher and then uh, it, that, that's the pattern that you want to see continue so it, it would be most bullish if the candles do work back into the bands this week if there's a bounce off that level if that fails to if that fails to hold and the candles pull back then the big support level is going to be the the 50 week moving average and the uh, the the um, middle Bollinger band and and yes just to just to refresh here this is the weekly chart and this is the hundred week moving average I apologize uh, not the hundred day this is the hundred week moving average and this is the 200 week week moving average so so the, the, the this, these are weekly candles and, and it's going to need to uh, close above this level for the week in order to head higher a weekly candle does not set until the closing bell on Friday sorry for the confusion there um, th this is a very strong uptrend the uptrend is likely to continue as long as support holds okay let's look at RGLS okay now this is a daily chart this is a, once again in the healthcare sector um, th th this stock has been uh, you know had a really nice move on Friday Friday. Uh, it's got this uptrend going. And so I'm showing it to you here. Um, you know, if you look here, okay, RSI is in the bull zone. Fasto is in the bull zone. So you have both of these indicators with room to run until overbought levels. There's a nice crossover on ADX with plus DI crossing minus DI to the upside. If you see the green line crossing the black line, which is ADX to the upside next week, that'll be a signal the bulls ha have taken control. So look for that. And then what else you want to look for is this green line here, which is the 50-day simple moving average. You want to see a close above that level and a close above this red horizontal resistance line. This red line is the bottom of the gap. Um, this is the top of the gap up here this red line and and this is the bottom of the gap notice there was a big drop down um, this is the close uh, on this day and the open on the following day and so th if there's a close above the bottom of the gap in the 50-day simple moving average that could signal potential gap fill and that would put the 200-day simple moving average at, or 100-day simple moving average at two dollars and the top of the gap on deck at 220 so if there's a break a cl and a close above 150 here next week then you could potentially see a run up to two to 220 range okay so keep an eye on rgls if it fails to break resistance here then that would signal a continuation of the uh this notice that it's back in the sideways channel you know it dropped below down here and, and then it came back up and it's it's back in this channel right here um you know heading sideways so if it, if it fails to break 150 you know which is the top of the channel then you could see a pullback down to the middle bollinger band at 120 so keep an eye on it we'll see if it can follow through next week and then uh, another one is SPHS okay this is another healthcare biotech stock this chart is heating up as well notice how RSI closed at 51 and, and FASTO at 59 they both broke into the bull zone on Friday so that is a signal that the chart is heating up you want to see them uh, both indicators stay above 50 if they drop below 50 that would signal the chart is cooling down not quite ready to go yet this is a chart that is uh, setting up this is uh, once again uh, you know I want to show you the 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 weekly chart here for SPHS um, it had a good uh, week on the daily chart and, and to me this is the interesting setup it, the, the red line here it, it, at 304 is the uh, 200 week simple moving average a and what bulls want to see is a close above that level and this red horizontal resistance line which is the top of the sideways channel notice how for many weeks SPHS has been trading in the sideways channel the red line is the top of the channel the green line is the bottom well it, it, the first week of March it bounced off the bottom of the channel and then now it's ready to test the top of the channel uh, this week and so uh, the uh, notice how the, the Bollinger Bands are super tight look this is the upper Bollinger Band is a solid purple line and then this other purple line is the lower Bollinger Band and notice how wide they were here notice the lower Bollinger Band was off the charts and so the, the, the this tightening of the Bollinger Bands is signaling a potential change in trend is coming soon and, and the signal for the change in trend will either be a break above 
above the red line, the top of the channel, the top of the upper Bollinger Band, or break below the lower Bollinger Band and the bottom of this channel. So there's either going to be a breakdown or a breakout here happening soon. On a breakout, we want to see a move above the 200-day simple moving average and a potential run up here to this July high close, which is around the 575 range. That There, there could be a big breakout if there's a move above this 200-week simple moving average. If the lower Bollinger Band breaks, then you're talking about a potential drop down to the 100-week moving average at 201. So uh, keep an eye on SPHS. It's been in this sideways trend, and, it, and that, that could continue if resistance fails to break. But if you do see a break above this 304, 305 range next week, it could signal a potential breakout higher. Keep an eye on volume. You know, there's two green volume bars in a row, but notice how they're very uh, small. Uh, many times, uh, you know, a volume will be the signal that this stock is ready to break out. If you look back here, when it was setting up, you know, there was, uh, you know, a couple white candles, couple of uh, small volume bars and then on the big breakout week here on June uh, the first week of June it, it was the, uh, the giant volume that signaled the breakout higher so that's what you want to keep an eye on you want to see a bullish volume spike this week and a move above resistance in the weekly chart to signal SPHS is ready to head higher um, notice that that there's uh, the 8 13 and 5 MACD has started a bullish crossover and then um, keep an eye on the 12 26 and 9 if that crosses over that will signal the chart is heating up okay here's another healthcare stock IMMY. Um, you've, you've got uh, RSI at 68, still just a little bit of room to run, overbought on Fasto. You know, bullish move on plus DI, the green line crossing the red and black lines to the upside. Okay, so this is another play that's been, you know, running for uh, multiple days. Um, notice that there's five green volume bars in a row. It did close well above the upper Bollinger Band, so that is frothy. If it pulls back into the bands, then, then you're looking at EMA4 at 262 is the key support level to hold. What bulls really want to see is they want to see this red descending resistance line turn into support. Notice how it's the top of the these two top candles here uh, there was a close above that level on friday that's signaling a potential breakout higher notice that there's this uh, uh descending triangle pattern that that was formed and and, and the the break above the ascending resistance is putting the 200 day simple moving average on deck at 310 that is the next key level to break if it can that and the high close back here in november uh this high close which is at 295 if you can get above that then 310 is the next level. It's going to need to break uh, the, and close above the 200-day simple moving average to continue the run higher. If the candles do work in the back in the bands, bulls want to see the, the middle Bollinger Band and then th all these moving averages that have converged at the same level between 255 and 246. Um, you know, you've got the the 100, the 50 and 100-day simple moving average and EMAs 4, 8, and 13 all converged at basically around the same levels. Um, you know, if that holds and the candles continue uh, forming above those levels and the uptrend will continue. If you see a break below the middle Bollinger Band, that's going to put the descending resistance on deck and then the bottom of the channel. Um, so, so that would signal a potential breakdown. Right now, there's a nice uptrend. There's good volume behind the move. Let's see if it can continue next week. Okay, now a couple of uh, uh, OTC stocks to keep an eye on. We've been talking about this FNHI. Um, notice how it's been uh, consolidating, consolidating uh, sideways here at the five level. Um, you, you know, th th this could potentially break out if it gets above the, the 0 0.05. Um, keep an eye on it. It closed again above EMAs 4 and 8. Notice how volume has, has disappeared. It's due for a bullish volume spike. Um, so keep an eye out for a volume spike and a push above resistance. If it fails to break 0 0.05, that will signal downside risk. Um, just keep a, an eye on it. You probably don't want to load before uh, resistance breaks because um, thinly traded stocks can be hard to sell. Okay, take a look at uh, DTII. This is another over-the-counter stock. It had made a, uh, a, a, a really bullish move um, last, last, uh, last uh, a couple weeks ago. It had this strong move and then it pulled back and it's had these uh, multiple red candles in a row and it's holding 0 0.01 support. As long as it stays above a penny, um, you know, it, if it can hold that level, then, then it could break out higher. What we want to see is a close above the, the, the pink and blue lines here, above EMAs 4 and 8. If it can close above that level next week, then you could see a potential uh, push higher. Um, so so keep an eye on DDTI with, with, with uh, II with the uh, 
multiple red candles in a row following a big run. It could heat back up. Right now, it's bearish with candles forming below EMAs 4 and 8. So you don't want to load until there's a break above resistance. So just keep an eye on it. This could possibly bounce and be back in play. Okay, thanks for viewing these charts. If you enjoy this video, check us out at MyChartCoach.com and our YouTube channel at MyChartCoach.com. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.